morning you got up and walked barefoot on that. How would you like that? Would you ask your wife for a sleep divorce? Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, I guess I'm lucky. Mine was... But this is me. pretty amazing. All right, Eden. I, I give this a yeah, thumbs up. I give this awesome. a thumbs up from my perspective. Well, Rance, we're gonna run over the pillow in just a second. <laughs> well, while you're hiking all over that, why don't you tell us what else you have coming up? Ooh, I like the segue, Eden. So yes, you know, as part of our Jack's Pest campaign presented by Visit Jacksonville, we've had a host of categories that you, the local experts, have voted on. So I went out to present the plaque for the best trail, hiking, biking, or running to the Jack's. Arboretum and Gardens. I'm here at the Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens. In 2019, you, the local expert, voted this is the best trail as part of our Jack's Best campaign presented by Visit Jacksonville. Well, I'm out here for year two for our repeat champion. Dana Duty is the executive director of Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens. She offers up some history. This place was discovered by local citizens. It was all but forgotten about, really and some locals decided to approach the city about turning it into a park. And then the citizens decided to call it an arboretum, which is a garden with a focus on trees. Now it's grown into this beautiful place and it's so unique. Its terrain is really cool. Everything about it, it has, it has hills, it has a lake, um, and it has an upper ravine and a lower ravine. So, I mean, and then, even seven natural trails, 13 different ecosystems. It's really a special hidden gem here in Jacksonville. And that hidden gem can give you a little workout while also offering opportunities for mindfulness. It's a total of three miles, a little over three miles. So if you walked all of them, that's about how long they are. So they're really not that long, it's a perfect I mean, it's like medicine, you know, you come out here, you recharge, you feel better. It's just good for your mind, body, and soul. And, you know, the seven, seven different trails all have, each trail is something unique. And I think that's one of the reasons that people love it so much, because every trail really is special and different. On this side, we have Jones Creek, and Jones Creek runs all the way through that side of the property. And Jones Creek comes all the way from Beach Boulevard. The board of the Arboretum have gone to great lengths to enhance the trail experience with new and updated gardens and markings while also making it accessible to everyone. We put in this uh, ADA path, which was funded by some uh, co the Community Foundation, the Dolores Bar Weaver Legacy Fund, and also a actually a volunteer with ours was the biggest donator, donor. Her name is Marcia Maderos, the Maderos family. They help fund to make this possible. And what's great about this ADA path is that people really take it for granted being able to go out into nature and take a walk. And I love the fact that we are so inclusive with the community that we make sure people with all kinds of different abilities can go a little bit farther into nature. There are opportunities for students and nature lovers in general to give back. We have a lot of students like Caitlin. This is Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the students need volunteer hours and this is a great way to do it and Caitlin told me from her own story that she just loves being out in nature and learning about nature so it's really good for them to get involved with us but the number and the volume of people that like to be involved with us it's it's a really large number so it's that's another thing that makes us very special is we engage the whole community we have projects with JU we have projects with UNF and um, so the colleges are involved as well as the local high schools. Ah, uh, maybe you're allergic to flora and fauna, or like me, you're allergic to heat and humidity. There are other ways to get back to the Arboretum. We depend on, on donations from our individual donors, and also we have a membership, and that's a great way to support the Arboretum. It's actually a perfect way to support the Arboretum because it includes a lot of cool benefits like our monthly newsletter, and when we have events, people can come to the events for free. So it's really a good way to get involved in and have a lot of fun with the Arboretum. Thank you, Jacksonville, for making the Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens Best Trails winner two years in a row. This is so amazing and we're so grateful. Thank you. These are just a few of our most recent winners. You still have time to vote for our most recent categories that we've uploaded. Go to newsforjax.com slash jacksbest to make your voices heard. 
Jack's Best, presented by Visit Jacksonville, where you're the local expert.